All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at something that genuinely kind of confuses me a little bit. Like I don't even get how we get to this point, right? Like what happens out there in the simulation for all this to really kind of line up the way that it did. But this one is just, a, it's, it's a crazy story. And I really think that maybe some of the context is missing here. I'm just going to go ahead and, and I guess warn you guys about that ahead of time. But like from what I'm reading here, this is just, it, it's a weird one. So first off, I want to shout out who actually suggested this video. Many of you know Ugly God, the rapper. He sent me this shit and I was just stunned, dude. Like I had to go ahead and make a video about this one. So shout out my man Ugly God for sending this one in. Honestly, never thought I was going to say that in a video, but that was pretty sweet. Anyways, to kind of move on and I guess break this down, uh, these parents in New York have been caught uh, running what is being called a kitty fight club. And it's literally like an organized group of parents that are running a like fight club with their children. And I'm not over exaggerating when I say that, like they're literally meeting at a playground at a public park and just having their kids just fucking throw hands for entertainment and for like to, to get the rowdiness out of them or whatever, right? Members of the Greenpoint Fight Club meet almost daily after school in McGoldrick Park in Greenpoint, New York City. The club has less than 10 members with up to four competing at any one time. It has fueled fighting between parents in the area with spats erupting online in local Facebook group Brooklyn Baby Hoy. Mom Julie Wilson, whose six-year-old son Zach plays in the club, told Curb the group is simply a way for the children to play fight and practice martial arts. But other parents said they were shocked at how aggressive it was and that the antics could scare other children. It's just such a weird story, bro. Like, everything about this is sounding weird. And we're going to get deeper into this whole thing here in a second. But, like, this is sounding fucking psychotic. Like, you deadass just have families, like, going to the park with their kids. And just having four of them at a time square up and just, like, do kung fu. Like, when they made that shit that said everybody was kung fu fighting, that's- This is what they were talking about, bro. They got these kids- in a goddamn park, going down the slide, doing karate chops in each other's heads. Like, come on, man. And it's gotten so bad that parents are legitimately having beef in the area. Like, there's deadass, like, family, like, bloodline, like, spews that are forming in NYC because of this. Like, can you imagine if in four generations, like, these people are like, oh, yeah, the, the Bradford's over here, right? Their fucking great, great, great granddaddy used to have his son fighting back in the old neighborhood fight club. And that's when it all started. Like, this is the most absurd shit that I think I've seen in a long time. So parents of fighters claim they set rules for no kicking and punching and that it is harmless fun for their active kids. While critics say that they were, quote, shocked at how aggressive it was and that the antics could scare other children. Mom Julie Wilson, whose six-year-old son Zach plays in the Fight Club, told Curb the group is nothing like the movie Namesake and is simply a way for the children to play fight and practice martial arts. There's a bunch of kids who like play fighting. Some of them, including mine, take martial arts classes and use the skills that they've learned. Some just like to wrestle and jump on each other because we all have very active boys. We're in the park every day. Dude, this just sounds fucking psychotic. So... One of these groups that has kind of formed out of all of this is clearly lying about the situation, okay? Either the people running this fight club are trying to, like, downplay how serious this is. Like, oh, you know, boys will be boys. They're just tackling each other in the park. Or, like, these critics are kind of exposing some fucked up shit, right? Because they're sitting here like, dude, this is aggressive. It's genuinely shocking that this is happening in a park, right? Like, the way they're making it sound, this is like WWE, you know, Royal Rumble. Kids getting, like, off the top rope, like, choke slams and all kinds of crazy shit. Like, a kid's spine's about to be contorted about 80 degrees out of place in the next week if this shit keeps up. So, like, one of these groups is, like, kind of overhyping this whole situation to a certain extent. And I don't know which one it is, but I gotta say, the idea of parents running a fucking children's fight club alone sounds absurd, right? How many parents do you know would be like, yeah, me and a couple of the other families around the area are gonna band up together? and let our kids fucking do kung fu on each other in the park. Something about that doesn't sound weird to people. Now, I will say, when I was young, right, uh, we definitely played pretty rough. Like, at recess, we had a game called Pelt, where the objective was literally to hit each other in the face with, like, any sort of ball. Basketball, football, soccer ball, dodgeball, didn't matter. Like, you're getting hit in the face. We played tackle football sometimes when we weren't supposed to, or, or stupid shit like that, right? I can never imagine the parents on the block just like getting us all together in a yard and just having us fist fight or like do taekwondo or something crazy on one another. 
And then this one parent's just out here like, oh yeah, you know, some of them, they take martial arts classes. So like they're literally learning hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Like mine, you know, they're in martial arts and they love play fighting with all the other kids. That sounds like your kid is fucking everyone else's kid up. Like something about that sounds suspicious. Like it's starting to sound to me like some of these parents are just like enjoying watching their kids like damn near kill each other, bro. Like that just sounds a little odd. At some point, most days, the kids end up fighting, usually on the rubber mats by the tightrope where it's the most room. She insists that the other parents ensure the kids don't get hurt while roughhousing and have rules set around not being violent with one another. As parents, we don't want anyone to get hurt, but we want our kids to play the way they like, so we've set some rules, no kicks, no punching, and let them do their thing. Another mom told the outlet the club has brought families together and accused critics of not wanting to be a part of the community. The families have become close. My son is watched by many families in that community, she said. I don't know, man. Like, I really feel like it It genuinely depends on what's actually going on, right? Because, like, you've got people saying, like, oh, it's not a big deal. They're just playing. And then you got people like, dude, this is fucking obscene and violent. This needs to be stopped before a kid is like traumatically hurt. I think it really depends. Like either way, I think it's a really fucking odd and like bad situation because it's like, yeah, kids are going to play aggressively and stuff like young boys do like to wrestle and like, you know, hit each other and shit like that. But like at the end of the day, dude, like you can't really just be in a public park, like having a fucking family roundhouse kick event. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, people are trying to take their kids to the park to, like, relax after school or whatever and, like, enjoy themselves. And then now you gotta worry about a dozen kids fucking doing Taekwondo on the slide, right? Like, there are gonna be families going there to just try and enjoy the amenities of the park without being a part of this fucking chaos or whatever. And it is a little selfish to kind of just go into a public space like that and just take it up for something so fucking weird. And, like, ruin the possibility of other people enjoying the park safely. But, like, I don't know. I feel like if it's not actually kids, like, fucking nearly killing each other and they are just, like, tackling each other and wrestling and, like, being very safely monitored, I think that's a little bit different, right? Because, like, it's being painted as if it's, like, this, like, fucking ravenous fight club, right? Where kids are getting just tortured. But, like, if they're just playing for fun, actually, and, like, kids aren't getting hurt, that makes it a little bit better. Not completely okay in my opinion, but I think a little bit better than if they were just like fucking doing like UFC combo moves on each other and stuff on, on, the, on the middle of the playground or whatever, right? But at the end of the day, it's like, if people are so divided about this, like, why don't you just do this in private? You know what I'm saying? Like, go to somebody's house or like go somewhere that's not the public park. This is an NYC, so I mean, I don't know you know, how common like backyards or like front yards or stuff like that are, because I know a lot of it is just like high rise apartments and stuff like that. But like, if you have somewhere that's not literally the public fucking playground to do this, that makes it a little bit different too, right? Because like, you can't blame people for like, you know, taking their three-year-old kid to the park to like ride down the slide and then be disturbed by like nine-year-old kids, like doing karate on each other 15 feet away while a bunch of parents just kind of watch and do nothing. But at the end of the day, like, it's just such a fucking weird concept because like, you know, they are at the public park, but like, I guess people could also make the argument, like go to a different park if you don't like that kind of stuff. I don't know. Like, it's honestly just a fucking odd situation. Like, I just never imagined that parents would be cool with running like actual fight clubs for their kids. Like, I'm not going to lie, bro. If I'm just like eight years old, right, just playing some Madden on the PS2, chilling out. And my mom walks in the room and she says, hey, get your shit together. We're going to the fucking park and you're going to you're going to rough house with the other kids all day. I'd be stunned. You know what I'm saying? I, I just wouldn't know what to say if my mom was like, hey, we got kids fight club three blocks down the road now. You better have your shoes on by the time I'm in this room again. Like the whole thing just seems fucking odd. I don't know. Definitely a little bit of a different situation today. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubtheOptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well, stunned and signing out.